These are the course objectives. And the main scope is, of course, understand the industry of petroleum refining. But we have several other objectives. The main goal is also to understand refineries. What are they? Why they have such layouts? What are the common unit operations? What are their, their raw materials, intermediates, byproducts, secondary products, and of course, the main products. I want you to have a feeling and feel confident of understanding the industry. Then we are going to learn about the products. What are the crude oils? How do we characterize them? Why is it important to characterize them? How they are, let's say, preferred over others? For instance, why do we want a low sulfur materials? Why do we want low metallic content? Why do we want high or rich olefin content? Why are we preferring light cuts over heavy cuts? Also, we are going to learn more on the products. Product specification, what makes regular gasoline regular? What makes premium gasoline premium? What makes gasoline and diesel different? What is bunker oil, fuel oils, and so on? Then we, I will say that the most important part of this is unit operations. If you understand unit operations, you will understand most of the industry. Unit operations can go from the typical atmospheric distillation unit and then the vacuum distillation. Understand why do we use first atmospheric and then vacuum? Why is it not reverse? Why is it not uh, increasing pressure? So on. I want you to understand what are the cracking processes from the chemistry side, physical side, thermodynamics, process engineering, and all and so on. Cokers, alkylation units, why do we need to make some alkylates? And reforming, why, why is it reforming important? We're going to see that as well. Also, one of the important aspects is to get a feeling on the several pathways. What is a cut? Well, a cut, for instance, can be naphtha, can be gasoline, can be kerosene. Why do we need to hydro-treat them? Why the sulfurization is required? Why some cuts are cracked and others are alkylated? Others are reformed and others are converted into coke. And of course, as we go on in this course, you're going to understand and get to know many terminology. Some are simple, for instance, cuts, gasolines, reformates, alkylates, blending pool, but we're going to get more technical, for instance, on STA, ASTM specifications, maybe on the octane rating, satan ratings. We're going to get more into the industry, the jargons. What do we use? Why do we use barrels? Why? We're going to get to know much more on the terminology. Okay. So I hope the course meet your expectations because the main scope stated before is feel confident in the refinery industry.